Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're gonna be looking at Motorbike Madness, created by Squash Pickle, and here they say, when your championship trophy is stolen, it's up to you, Blue Racer, to chase the thief down and take back what is rightfully yours. What transcends is an adventure through the 1980s inspired by classic 80s action movies and likes of Far Cry, Blood Dragon, and Neon Lights, Explosions, and even voice acne. Motorbike Madness is a race like no other. Hello, this is my first Planet Coaster creation. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I spent a fair bit of time on this and I'm proud, proud of the final ride experience I have created. The coaster isn't the lengthiest experience, but I hope you enjoy the twists and turns of Booster Bike Coaster. The coaster features a custom arranged music from YouTube audio library, as well as voice acting from other members of the channel, Bomb Chu. So I'd like to thank him for their help. Boom, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned, and we'll get right on into it. All right, here we are. Motorbike Madness. Speed one go-karts. <gasps> cool. I like this already. All right, so we have a launch coaster. There's a look at all the stats. You said it's not the longest, but actually a lot longer than some of the other ones. So I'm actually looking forward to this. I took a sneak peek from the top down. I was trying to find the queue. So I got to see a few things and uh, I'm excited about the, the go-kart track and all that. So this should be a lot of fun. Let's get going. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Welcome to the annual Motorbike Madness Championship. <laughs> Job. Return to base. job out there. You've got the win, you've got your trophy, but most importantly, you've got the love and respect of your country.
<laughs> Freaking cool. I like it. Let's talk about it. Definitely, I think the highest production quality gone into any of the videos so far or uh, creations. You know, you had the voice acting, you had a lot of, uh, you, you put your own custom soundtrack in and you timed everything to the events of what's happening with the voice acting, the change of the music, the change of the pace, you use like that elevator sequencing. There's a lot of stage ch changes, music changes. Uh, you set things up really in a really cool way started us off as this uh, this race motorcycle raceway and then took us off into a, a whole other story uh for me the only thing that didn't really work there was this like the the randomness between like the okay someone blew up or we you know we're down a racer wouldn't that mean we automatically win there's only two of us and we keep going around and then we decide to veer off randomly i don't understand why we veered off uh there, there wasn't really explained to us we just kind of did and then it's like oh blue racers back on the track and now you win uh so i don't know what what was up with that and maybe you could have had like a little hint um something went wrong you got to get out of there the whole track is blowing up the the the, the race is off the, the, the this year's race is canceled you know you now you now it's just a matter of staying alive and and you get off the track in time you know to save your own life but in doing so you have to take these wacky back routes i don't know i like this the change of the music we get this like retro 80s vibe coming through here it's really neat and uh yeah the scenes are put put together really nicely look at this it's fun it's playful. There's been a few few creations in the contest so far that have gone with these city scenes where the coaster's ripping through and only building what you need to see, the facades of the building, but yet it does such a good job of really taking you and creating some emotion. I don't know, it's, it's really neat. Lots of action, cars blowing up, things going crazy. Channel 5. <laughs> It's super fun. Uh, where was I? That elevator scene was pretty good. How, how was this supposed to go? Where did it go from here? Go through here. Oh, we went, we're supposed to go here. Okay. Yeah, just pyrokinetics, smoke, lighting. Like, you really jazzed it up. And again, I think this is one of the highest production valued creations. And it's making it really difficult because there's been a handful in the contest so far that I was really impressed by. And this is definitely one of them. I would give an award to each one for different reasons. But at the end of the day, that's why you guys have to vote to help me decide or to help decide in general who, who is the best action coaster, which one was the most fun. And so far, Far they have a lot of them have been good for their own reasons and this definitely is good for its its quality in terms of you know production and all that so uh i, I like the effort here the only thing that kind of didn't really make sense to me was the story but then i think you put more effort into your story than others have so you're still up there in contention to be a top five in my opinion so i definitely think the story could have been fixed a little bit better, but then you're one of the few people that actually bothered to do a good story. So it really doesn't hurt you in any way, not having having it a little bit disjointed. I don't think that matters at the end of the day. It was fun, and that's all that, that, that matters, is it was a good experience. So really good job to Squash Pickle. I love your name, by the way. You gotta come up with a little Planko logo of a Squash Pickle and put that on your workshop <laughs> and put that in all of your creations. Just a Squash Pickle. That's fun. Pickle Rick, the Squash Pickle, Motorbike Madness. What did you guys think of this creation? Leave your comments down below for this wonderful creator. And that is going to do it for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.